What's up guys, it's Evan from riversedgecutlery.com. Welcome back to another video. So another question that we get in store all the time is about different handle scale materials, different handle materials in general. What are they good at? What are they not so good at? So we thought we'd lay out a couple knives here today with different handle materials and talk about the pros and cons of each. So the different handle materials that we're gonna be talking about today are FRN, micarta, G10, carbon fiber, titanium, and aluminum. So the first material we're gonna be talking about today is FRN or GFN, and those stand for fiberglass reinforced nylon or glass filled nylon, but they mean generally the same thing. So this material is produced by taking glass fibers and mixing them with a polymer, and then that polymer is then injection molded into whatever handle shape they would like. So the benefits of those glass fibers are just improved tensile strength, and they just make it generally more durable. Some of the pros and cons with FRN are that it's an incredibly lightweight handle material while still maintaining that strength. And since uh, FRN and GFN are injection molded, they can really take whatever handle shape or really even any texture that the manufacturer wants. This can really reduce the overall cost of producing the knife because it kind of reduces the amount of time spent milling or adding texture to that handle since you can just injection mold whatever texture you want in. Some of the downsides of GFN and FRN are that sometimes they can feel a little bit too lightweight for people's preference. Some people like a little bit of a heavier handle material on their knives since it kind of gives that feeling of quality. But overall, uh, FRN and GFN have become even more popular as of late, especially with models such as this, the lightweight Para 3, and they uh, show no sign of going anywhere. The next handle material that we're gonna be talking about today is micarta. And micarta is actually produced by taking linen, burlap, denim, or really any other fabric and compressing it in a thermosetting plastic. And that's how you get these solid handle scales out of a fabric, which is actually really cool. Some of the upsides of micarta are that you can get a really nice texture on it. A lot of the times the texture of that fabric can kind of speak through even with the epoxy uh, that covers it. Another thing that people really like about micarta is that it has a tendency to get even grippier as it gets wet. So if you're using your knife out in the kind of less, less than ideal conditions, micarta might be a good way to go. So some of the downsides of micarta are that it has a tendency to stain. It can pick up oils or uh, solvents or anything that you're kind of getting on the handle material and take on that color. Um, another thing is that since micarta has a tendency to be a little bit softer than something like G10 or FRN, um, it can actually get banged up a little bit easier. So micarta might be a good choice if you're looking for something that's a little bit softer and something that can get even grippier as it gets wet um, if you're out there using your knife in some rough conditions. So the next handle material we're gonna be talking about today is G10 and G10 is actually actually a high pressure fiberglass laminate that's created by taking several layers of thin glass cloth and compressing them in a resin. Then that glass cloth and epoxy mixture is compressed under heat and that's how you get G10. G10 uh, can be textured secondarily or it can be left smooth. It's really up to the manufacturer. Um, here we have the Spyderco PM2 and they've kind of added uh, what really feels like a sandpaper texture on this uh, and that makes it really good for heavy duty use when you uh, really need to have a good grip on your blade. So some of the upsides of G10 are that it's incredibly strong, especially for its light weight. Um, it also, weirdly enough, has a high level of electrical insulation. So if you're working in a trade that you might be exposed to something like that, this can oftentimes be a really good choice. G10 is also really moisture resistant, so that's another little upside to it. Some of the downsides are that uh, especially highly textured G10 has a tendency to rip up your pockets. So if you're wearing dress pants around like me most of the time, you gotta be a little bit careful when it comes to heavily textured G10. So the next handle material we're gonna be talking about today is carbon fiber. And carbon fiber is actually produced by taking incredibly thin crystalline filaments, weaving them together in a cloth of sorts, and then compressing them in plastic or resin. Some of the upsides of carbon fiber are that it's incredibly lightweight. It's also moisture resistant and resistant to the elements. 
um, and it also adds a really nice aesthetic pop to the knife. Some of the downsides of carbon fiber are that it is oftentimes quite slick unless there's been a kind of a texture added to the handle material. So that can be a little bit disconcerting, especially if you're gonna be using your knife in some more adverse conditions. And the last couple handle materials that we're gonna be talking about today are titanium and aluminum. And these can kind of be lumped together. They have very similar properties uh, which is slight differences. So the upsides of these materials are that they are incredibly strong and uh, add a little bit of weight to the blade. And that can also be kind of a downside. Uh, adding titanium or aluminum, as opposed to one of these other handle scale materials does add some weight to the knife. So if you're gonna be carrying it backpacking or if you want like a super lightweight option to be carried in dress pants or something like that, then this might not be your best bet. However, both of these handle materials are still much lighter than using stainless steel. And in the case of titanium, they're still strong enough to be used in a frame lock. Some of the downsides of these handle materials are that they have a tendency to be kind of slick unless there's been a texture added. And especially in the winter time, they retain heat or cold, so they can be a little bit cold to the touch. However, if you're still looking for a high strength handle material option, titanium or aluminum might be a good bet. Alrighty guys, thanks for sticking with us for a little bit of an overview of different handle scale materials. Just keep in mind that while there might not be a best handle material overall, there could be an ideal handle material for your use case. So if you're gonna be working out in the field and the things might get a little bit wet and slippery, micarta might be a good bet. If you're looking for an ultra lightweight option, then you might wanna to look towards something like carbon fiber or FRN. So we just wanted to produce this video to help you guys make a more well-informed knife buying decision. Thanks for watching today, guys. If you have any questions, drop us a line at riversedgecutlery.com, shoot us a call or visit us in store. I'm Evan, I'll talk to you guys next time.